Hey, what's going on, screen printers? I want to take a look at Trello. I'm going to show you guys how we use it um, within our day-to-day -day production of um, projects as we move them from the customer's hands, from the customer's mind <laughs> all the way through, I guess, the steps in here and then back out to the customer. Um, but yeah, whatever. Uh, if you don't know what Trello is, Trello is a project management um, software. It's web-based, man. And um, the reason we started using it because we were looking around at other software to use, and it was just expensive, man. Just, like, being a startup. And, shoot, even if you've just invested in it for years, man, you, some of this stuff is a few hundred dollars a month. And they want you to uh, pay that. And still um, make money. I mean, yeah, it's efficient. But is, if efficiency is that expensive, then maybe we need to just work a little bit harder um, on being efficient ourselves and our own things and whatnot. But anyway, enough of the preaching and what and all that. So um, this pretty much here is our is your homepage in Trello. All of these rectangles are um, your boards. You can um, you put a star in the corner make them your favorite and um they'll be they'll move up to the top of the list and you see i use it for a lot of stuff personal stuff sales um we do our full magazines and magazine gets an entire when we do magazines they, the whole magazine gets a board and um i've got steps laid out in there but enough about that we're talking about t-shirts using it here with our t-shirt projects and um so as you go into, we're gonna go into our board and you'll see all of these gray boxes here are your list and the white boxes are your cards. And um, we've got the initial contact from the customer all the way down to um, archiving emails and, file and, and, and files and get them off the computer. Um, we, we move ours off the computer to save space once we move them to a hard drive once we're done with the project but here you go I'm gonna go through here and we, um, we're gonna take a dummy customer we're gonna make a, cu a comment well a dummy card it's gonna be a fake customer we just, I'm gonna show you how I use it and I move from step to step step to step all the way throughout the um, whole project area <laughs> The entire length of the project. What am I talking about? Okay. So what I do first here, I got I've made a section to call, you know, read me file. And it basically tells the whoever your team member is that you're dealing with and working with, um, what to do, how to use this entire board, how to go in and what's it what it is for and why you're doing what you're doing. So I'd say if you guys do try this um, method, we got um because we get interns in here, we get um we get designers that we work with, and sometimes we'll shoot them a board and let them know what they're looking at. So this this tells you what you're looking at. It tells you how to use it if you do do any creation or whatnot. But it tells you all that stuff, and that's how it works. Um, right here, this is our card. We don't want to keep typing stuff over and over again doing it from starting over from scratch trying to reinvent the wheel so i created this card it's basically a layout it's going to tell you and this is what we're going to use here we're going to go in here go ahead and go in here and as you see it's got everything laid out i went back and cleaned it up before um you see 12 minutes ago i cleaned it up before i started the video but you got all the information that you need in here for, um, from the customer you're gonna have his phone number email dates and colors and all that down here is a production checklist um this checklist is um an interior version of what the list outside of the um of this card are it's gonna keep you keep it's gonna keep everybody all the projects well it's gonna keep everybody um on the same page and you'll easily be able to know where this customer or their project is in um, the production area. And as we go here, let's see. It's got a custom field. The service, that's your service is needed. If you click this, um, you can go ahead and customize it and make it whatever you want. Now this one is not part of the free. This service um, needed drop down. 
that is not part of the um, free Trello. It is an add-on. I think I paid three dollars for this one. Three dollars a month, and you get three different. They call them power-ups. Um, yeah, I think that's what it is. Three dollars a month. I think the most you pay on here. I may be wrong. Is ten dollars a month, if I'm not mistaken. But that ten dollars a month. Um, gives you a whole bunch of other stuff but anyway to make your production checklist you um just type out what you want in the word file or um, word doc and just um put put everything on a separate line copy all that entire thing come in here and um click checklist and paste it name it what you want it and it'll drop it down here with as with different checks with different check boxes excuse me so um for the sake of saving a little bit of time I went on ahead and got a, I typed up some information. So as we go through this card, as you said, it says copy this card for new client. So I'm gonna copy this card and it pops up here. And I'm gonna name this card the same thing over here as I have in my example. So I'm gonna go back to my copy and I'm gonna select all and paste in there. So that's gonna be Wildcat Baseball Tees. Um, Jay Smith is our contact. And I'm gonna leave it right where it is. You can go in here and tell it where to go. You can tell it to go to another board or you can tell it to go to another list. Um, and it also tells you what position, you can tell it what position to fall in the board. As it says number two, if you look over here to the left, it's gonna be right here under the README file. It's gonna fall between both of them once I hit create card. And you see, that's where it moved. Now be sure to go ahead and exit out of this because I've done it before just out of habit having stuff right there in front of you you want to go ahead and um, add it but don't don't do that <laughs> so um okay we're gonna go back to the card that we want to change grab our information over here let's say the customers called us already and gave us that information so we got our phone number we filled all of that so as this thing goes along remember to hit save once you change something in here because uh, if you just click that, it reverts back. But it does keep it because it lets you know that um, you have unsaved stuff going on in this field. So we're going to hit view, edit, and go back to save right there. Okay, we've already talked to the customer because we got all this information. So let's say um, customer contact. So now our job is to send um, an email next. But um, let's just say that's not your job. That's somebody on your team. So we go here and we drag over to... Um, need customer estimate excuse me I said send email need customer need an estimate sent to the customer so we click on that and um and it's there so now we're here the customer um so we go back in here and we check wait a minute something weird going on oh I moved the wrong car okay crazy me Okay, so now the customer, um, we've moved that um, estimate to the, we're gonna send that estimate to the customer, so it needs to be sent, so we've dropped it in here. Let's say you or your teammate has done that task, so you slide it over and you hit move. You can even hit move here, and um, drop down and say, so now it's waiting for estimate. Um, now now you send the estimate, so now you're waiting for the estimate to be approved, and you hit move, and it jumps over. So once you go back out here, it's down here. <laughs> But when you move it over that way, it drops it on the bottom. So, and, and it may be a shortcut that'll pull it back over, but I haven't found that one yet. So, you, but we'll, we'll find that as we grow, as we um, go along. I'm still learning this program as well. But um, as we move, the, the customer likes to estimate and they um, are ready to see a proof. They've given us the proof, so we go in here there's the information that they said you know see email for customer graphics so there it is okay um like i said we're moving this along so i think i'm actually move these up and leave them here permanently um for proof approved and proof design sent to customer because let's just say we've done that proof and not only did we do that proof we want to show whoever else on this project working with you how the proof looks so you can add an attachment uh, I'm gonna go here and pull that attachment up. So now that, that's how the shirt looks. It's red shirt with white ink and it's a full color center design. All right, so um, proof. customer likes the proof. 
and they pay the uh, deposit. Most time with us, this happens all together right here. This all happens together. And um, so I don't actually have one where it says, oh, ask for a customer, ask the customer for the deposit. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that on the next video, split this up into two parts. And um, I'm gonna show you this part. We've sh we just showed you everything all the way up to proof approval. So before we go, I'm gonna check that off. And then I hope you guys join me in the next part to see what the rest of it is like.